the maker of Cup Noodle and Top Ramen, Japan's Nissan Foods, has pulled ads featuring biracial tennis player Naomi Osaka after critics said they whitewashed her natural skin tone. The Hungry to Win campaign, drawn by manga artist Takeshi Kanomi, according to the pics the 21-year-old 2018 US Open champ, who was born in Japan to a Haitian father and has dual US and Japanese citizenship, and fellow athlete Kei Nishikori swinging their rackets. As American writer living in Japan, Bay McNeil, described the advertisements to saying, she looks totally like a white woman in the ad, it was very whitewashed. On Wednesday, the company pulled the campaign, released earlier this month, from YouTube due to the backlash, the reported. Nissan Foods Group operates under the respect of fundamental human rights, ensuring that gender, race, age, nationality, or any other values are taken into consideration in accordance with all our business practices, including our advertisement activities, Nissan said in a statement provided to people. The characters were designed with the intention to replicate the world of the Anime series as much as possible, the statement continued, saying that the company consulted Osaka's reps in Japan before releasing the ads. The drawings, however, were not shared with her US reps before they went public. The current situation creating social controversy is not what we had intended and therefore have decided to stop the campaign, the company concluded in the statement. When asked about the ads on Thursday, the Grand Slam winner said she's been in contact with Nissan, according to Associated Press. I've talked to them. They've apologized, I'm tanned. It's pretty obvious, she said, according to Addy, that she doesn't believe the ad meant to whitewash her. But I definitely think that the next time they try to portray me or something, I feel like they should talk to me about it, she told reporters in Melbourne, where she's currently competing in the Australian Open. During Thursday's semi-finals, Osaka beat Karolina Pliskova of the Czech Republic 6-2, 4-6, 6-4, reported. Reps for Osaka did not immediately respond to people's request for comment. Osaka's superstar status in the US was solidified when she beat Serena Williams in the US Open Women's Singles Finals in September 2018. Much of the aftermath of that game was dominated by Williams' verbal disagreement with chair umpire Carlos Ramos, who she called a thief. She was later issued three violations, including one for breaking her racket. Critics called the punishment sexist, asserting that men regularly get angry on court without being penalized. Osaka told People at the time that she wasn't nervous playing Williams, 37, because I played her once before. The reason why I would be nervous was because I've never played a finals before. Otherwise, when I stepped onto the court I felt completely fine. When I play, I feel like a different person, so I felt pretty comfortable. She then addressed the controversy, saying she didn't really know what it was about. I felt like so much went on. I feel like I've never won a Grand Slam, so everything feels really new, she added. I've been surrounded by my mom and my dad this entire